Okay, so crosstalk, let's talk about the crosstalk. Well, you see, crosstalk is nothing, but you had seen the example of crosstalk as two person, yeah, two person are communicate, communicating with each other on a mobile device, okay, on a mobile device. And while communicating, someone's other voice come and exist in between your two, okay? So, this is the other person voice who is also communicating with someone else, but the voice come and exist or sit in your channel and you see and you, and you listen this person voice in your mobile phone or in your communication. This is the crosstalk. This person is basically here is considered as a noise in between two connection okay so this is a cross talk here okay so let's understand now i hope you understand the cross talk now let's understand the uh, last noise that is your impulse noise now impulse noise is basically it is a kind of high frequency i will write it down high frequency signal for shorter duration for shorter duration okay so what do you mean by impulse noise is basically you are having let's say a normal communication and it is the signals are going in a very precise way but for a shorter duration you will see a high peak you will see again a high peak and this this scenario this high peaks for a very shorter duration is known as your impulse noise okay can you see this this is a normal communication here but however for a shorter duration you can see these are the uh, these are the high amplitude come and exist you know for a very shorter duration and we call these high spikes uh, as your impulse noise so these are the high spikes of amplitude okay so you understand the noise here now the last thing is in the transmission impairment is the impair uh, is the interference now interference is i will give you an example of fdm uh, i will no fdm but just understand that interference is nothing when one channel is moving and someone's other channel is also moving in the same direction or in the same path then if they overlap with each other then this scenario is known as interference and there are various types of interference come and exist and we will talk it precisely in our later sessions okay right now you just understand this okay now uh, let's understand on the basis of noise let's understand the the other thing let me change the color and let's understand the other thing is signal let me write it down as signal to noise ratio signal to noise ratio so this is basically SNR and I hope you had seen this in your uh, you know in your previous semesters or in the in the in the previous um, I mean course okay so this is the SNR signal to noise ratio so from the very title you can understand that it is a kind of ratio of something to something so I will precisely write it down here that it is an average it is a ratio of average signal power that is your signal average signal power ratio or divided by average average noise power okay so this is your snr it is the ratio of average signal power to the noise power from the very definition you can also understand from this equation you can also understand that if i say 
if your SNR is very high or I say higher SNR then good signal the signal strength is going to be very 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 I mean efficient if you are having low SNR from the very equation you can understand that low SNR means lower signal or I can I can write here noisy signal let me write it down like that so this is my noisy signal okay so here from the SNR if your SNR is very high that means you are having a good signal power but if your SNR is decreased or low then your noise power is going to be increased so keep that in mind now we have to calculate if you want to calculate the uh, if you want to calculate the SNR but how can you calculate it is basically on the basis of this equation so let me derive not derive but let me just write it down here so if you had given that you want to calculate SNR dB dB is the decimal unit decibel okay this is DECI DBLE or BAL sorry yeah decibel okay so decimal SNR de decibel then it is having the equation of 10 log base 10 SNR this is the equation by which you can calculate the SNR value okay so I hope you understand it uh, now what will be the next thing yes I also want to say this that if I have let's say I'm talking about let me let me take a new page let me just give you something called as a graph if I have a graph here and if I have signal so this is my transmitted signal okay this is my transmitted signal and you already know about this that signal is individually signal is never flown in the communication network it there is always going to be a noise which may be there in the wire or which may be there in the external source so there will there will always be a kind of noise so this is my signal and this is going to be my noise which consists of your actual signal for the for the trans for the transmission so now your signal is going to be a composite signal which consists of some data and consists of some noise so now I will write here that this is signal plus noise and this is the actually this is the actual transmission actual transmission I'll write it that it is an actual transmission okay so this is the at the center side so by means of this this is an example of high SNR this is the case of high SNR if you are having high SNR then this would be a scenario that there is a signal there is a noise and then there is a good signal this is a this is a good composite signal however but if you are having let me again change the color so that you precisely understand if you are having low SNR here you understand if you are having low SNR then I have one signal consists of some layers so this is going to be your signal and I have a noise so let me also draw a noise here this is again the same way it's a, it's a noise now your signal the composite signal is going to be completely different you see here it looks something like this there is a distortion there is so many problems so this is your signal plus noise and you can see this is the case of low SNR your this is the actual transmission which is good enough but here the actual transmission you see is because of we have a low SNR is because of that reason we have a very you know very very noisy signal which is not good so SNR is the is a thing by which we can measure that how noisy is our signal 
and how good or the, what is the signal what is the uh, um, signal strength or not the signal strength but how effectful the signal strength of our signal okay so i hope you understand it thank you so much for listening me if you haven't seen the previous videos please visit those so that you can understand the fundamentals of you know this analog digitals and other things thank you so much and if you haven't subscribed my channel i insist you to please subscribe it thank you